Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your September 2018 mid-month general readings. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to any newcomers. Uh, thanks for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and thank you for all those of you who continue to keep, reach out and keep me so busy with personal one-on-one -on -one readings. Always a pleasure. Uh, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, live or recorded, you can email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Um, Turnaround time is usually pretty fast for personal readings. I can usually get back to you within the same day or the first 24 hours of your initial contact with some more information. And scheduling can be anywhere from a few days upwards of a couple of weeks, but almost always within a two-week period of time or so. So if you're interested, send me an email. We'll go from there. Uh, I do a wide variety of readings, and uh, I would be just delighted to work with you. So moving right along, uh, you can also get more uh, information and contact details by clicking on uh, the description bar of all the videos I post, or you can go to my YouTube channel's homepage and click on the little about button for more info and my contact details. You can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy. So let's get right into this. This reading is for the remainder of September for the fire sign of Aries, our Rams. Let's see what the last two weeks of September have in store for our Aries. General readings always resonate a little differently for everybody, so if you know your rising and your moon sign, you can watch those videos too for additional clarification. Okay, Aries. September 2018, mid-month. We have the Queen of Wands, followed by the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands, followed by the Ace of Cups. How lovely! And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and guidance is the Three of Cups. Oh, great spread, uh, Aries. Your overall energy from the bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups, sometimes nicknamed the Party Card, although of course it has deeper significance than that. Uh, but it does speak of, it has a high social energy to it. It does represent being out, having a good time, enjoying yourself, particularly with people that make you feel good, friends, family, people that you feel really connected with, kind of a sisterhood, brotherhood, kindred spirit kind of energy. It can also represent uh, your close community uh, as well in a really positive way. So it looks like a lot of you. Uh, over the last half of September are going to be enjoying yourself with people that you feel good around. Now Aries, we have the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles for the middle to the third week of the month. So the Queen of Wands, Fire Sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, showing up as a queen, as a female, but could also be a male as well particularly in a general reading. For some of you, this is going to be you just being exactly who you are, lovely fire sign energy, dynamic, fluid, energetic, uh, good problem solver, good leader, charismatic, uh, not one to rest on their laurels for very long. Some of you, it may represent another fire sign individual that is important in your life around this time. Uh, I'm getting for some of you that there's a Leo energy here. Some of you may be in a relationship of some kind with a Leo. This could be love and romance. It could be friendship. It could be a business relationship as well. Uh, and there's a sense of contemplating either what you have in your life specifically right now or contemplating how much energy what you have invested in this relationship with uh, whoever this Queen of Wands is, someone in your life, for some of you are manifesting as, as this Queen of Wands, female or male. What clarifies her is the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card of reflection and assessment. It's taking a look at the harvest you already have because it's harvest time on this card. She's getting ready to pick what she has worked so hard to grow. So it's a card about looking at what you have as a whole. Okay, what do I have? How much have I invested in this? Did I get back uh, at least did what I get out of this or what is what I'm getting out of this matching the efforts that I've put into this? If not, do I need to make changes? Do I uh, harvest this crop and grow the exact same one doing the exact same things? Do I tweak it a little bit or do I harvest it and then move on to something different? So it's a card at looking at what you have overall uh, invested in something versus what you've put into it and making decisions on how you're going to move forward based on that. Now, uh, you know, for some of you, this could be, 
I feel like there is a relationship in here. Now, for some of you, I mean, I know everybody, it's not always, you know, the love and romance kind of readings and everybody's in a relationship or not everybody wants to hear about love and relationships. Sometimes what I'm hearing the bulk of is that this can go either way. For some of you, this is going to be a, rom a relationship of a romantic nature, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. It could be a friendship. It could be a business uh, arrangement as well. And some of you for whom it doesn't represent another person, this queen of wands, it could just be that you're taking stock at, in what you have right now and you there may be something a, a new beginning or something that you're celebrating uh, as well because this is a celebratory energy over the last couple of weeks the energy is really positive and really good but there is this contemplation energy too um, and then at or towards the end of September 2018, around the last week, we have two aces. Wonderful. Aces are kind of like that extra splash of sprinkling of fairy dust. Aces always represent um, the number one. So they represent the start of something new, uh, the beginning of a new path or the opportunity for a new beginning. You have the ace of wands and the ace of cups. So we have fire and water. We have creative, energetic, building, moving forward energy here and emotional energy, feeling energy and also relationship energy. So the Ace of Wands is an exciting new beginning. It's it's the st there's definitely new beginnings all over the place at the end of the month. You have two Aces which represent doing something new. You're starting something new, or there's perhaps going to be a new beginning or a new awakening in something which is already there. For some of you, that this is about a relationship. It could be uh, if you're in a business relationship with somebody, particularly somebody who's manifesting like a fire sign, you could be starting off on a new project that has you feeling one very excited, creative, energetic, fiery, passionate, moving forward. That's all this fire energy of the Ace of Wands, new beginnings. And it's paired with the Ace of Cups, which is watery, emotional, feeling energy. It's the energy of a new beginning, which has your heart beginning to open up, feeling very positive, very loving. It's also a card that can represent new love and romance. Some of you may be celebrating a new beginning. Uh, some of you may be celebrating the wrapping up of something and then you're starting something else new at the end of the month. Some of you for some of you, it just looks like some of you who are actually involved in a romantic relationship with someone, I think you're just going to be having a good time with your partner. There may be some sense of where you're going to, uh, you know, to move on from here on out. You may be looking at the future, making plans with your partner for the future. But overall, the energy is really lovely. I feel like you're having a good time and you're looking at maybe either starting over or starting a new chapter of your relationship together. Um, this, again, does not have to represent a romantic relationship. It can be a business relationship or friendship. Uh, and it could be if it's not any of those things for you. It definitely looks like you're having a good time. You're going to be getting out or at least having the opportunity to be social. There definitely is a new start for you, a new beginning that has you very fired up and feeling very, very good about where you are in life and where you're going. So any way you look at it, whatever part of this story is yours, Aries, it's wonderful. You have two wands card and two cup card and one pentacles card. So uh, a pretty nice balance of fire and water with a little bit of earth for stability in there. So uh, way to go, Aries. So Aries, that pretty much wraps up your uh, September 2018 mid-month reading. I hope you enjoyed it. It looks like a good couple of weeks for you. Uh, again, if any of you are interested in a personal reading with me, please feel free to contact me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be most happy to uh, set up a reading for you. I do a, a, a lot of different types of reading in all the main areas of life, love and romance, career work and finance. Uh, romance compatibility charting, reconciliation. I also do career work and finance and investment readings and messages from loved ones as well as uh, uh, six and 12 month overviews which take a look at what's coming in your life over a six or 12 month period of time depending on how far ahead you want to look uh, as well as gift readings for others too. We do have the holidays coming up. So if you're interested, send me an email and we'll go from there. I'd love to schedule a reading with you. So Aries, I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the October 2018 uh, general readings. I should be back in the United States by then. I'm still in Europe right now, but I'll be back in California around the 1st of October, right around the time uh, the October's post. So I hope to see you uh, there. And until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care. Bye-bye.